You are looking at an industrial laser, which emits an extraordinary light not to be found in nature. It can project a spot on the moon, or at closer range, cut through solid metal. I will show you. Unlimited magazine, lightspeed attack, invisible shots, intelligent. U.S. reveals world's most powerful laser weapon ever. The world's most powerful laser weapon is about to make a dramatic entrance. Only finally coming after the world was willing to spend a record-breaking $2 trillion on military expenditure. The U.S. alone makes up 38% of that, and it seems that's how much it takes to develop a laser weapon that's ahead of that of rival near-peer nations, including Russia and China, who both combined, along with the other top three, make up $1.24 trillion of that global expenditure, a dominating 62%. At this point, it's clear, the race to the world's most powerful laser weapon has heated up and the only way to win is by doing what the US has done, which is our focus in this video. But first, a general look at the abilities of this weapon that shoots invisible shots and has managed to steal the attention of the world's most powerful nations. From faster supersonic fighters and hypersonic missiles to one that can take out million dollar missiles at the cost of an average $3 literally abilities of laser weapon high energy lasers hel and various other directed energy or de weapons come with abilities that could be considered too good to be true with three abilities in particular taking the spotlight one unlimited magazine the laser weapon makes reloading seem outdated once connected to a power source the laser weapon can in theory shoot forever this comes particularly handy against drones that have gone from small, fast, passive players to small, incredibly fast, lethal attack aerial vehicles that can attack in swarms. Impressive as projectile air defense systems are, a swarm is always likely to be too much to handle for them. With an unlimited magazine allowing it to consistently fire highly effective shots that can burn up drones and blind reconnaissance systems, the laser weapon solves this problem. 2. Light Speed Attack The word LASER is an acronym for Light Amplification by Stimulated Emission of Radiation, which in simple terms means that lasers are a form of light energy. Thus, characteristically, they move at the speed of light, 300 million meters per second. They are the fastest things in the universe. This means no aircraft or missile can outrace certain doom once spotted by the radar sensors, even with a head start of miles. Whether they're supersonic, hypersonic, or super hypersonic, it doesn't matter. They're going down in a cloud of their own smoke in as little as four seconds after catching the attention of the laser. This ability is largely responsible for the almost 100% success rate of the laser weapon. Three. Intelligence. The laser weapon is almost entirely autonomous. It does most of its work without human intervention, from spotting and tracking targets to taking them out with the precision of a sniper shot. And in an ever-evolving battlefield, combining three generations of technology, that level of precision is a need. Before we go ahead, there is one ability that deserves an honorary mention, and that is the pin drop silence of attack that comes with the laser weapon. Despite the widespread fiction of laser beams making high-pitched tones when they're shot. Another popular misconception is the portability of laser weapons. Rifle and pistol laser weapons will have to stay in Hollywood, as the laser weapons in operation today are huge enough to take up entire sections in armored personnel carriers, fighter jets, and even ships as we've seen in the most powerful laser system of the U.S. Army, Air Force, and Navy. U.S. Most Powerful Laser Systems 
For decades, American defense companies have worked on developing multiple laser systems that would play critical roles in land, air, and sea-based battles for the Army, Air Force, and Navy, respectively. These systems are now mature and are as close to changing modern warfare as ever. Army Ground-Based The Army is pushing for two different laser weapons. The first, a more everyday weapon that shoots 60 kilowatts in taking out small UAVs and other similar sized targets, known as the Directed Energy Maneuver Short Range Air Defense Laser Weapon, or DEM SHORAD, and the second, five times more powerful than the first, shoots 300 kilowatt laser beams that can take out cruise missiles, a weapon known as the Indirect Fire Precision Capabilities High Energy Laser or IFPC-HEL. IFPC-HEL, a three-year project developing technologies for the protection of fixed and semi-fixed sites. The IFPC-HEL is now a ground vehicle system tasked with defeating both light and heavy threats from drones to rockets. The complete system is packed full of all it takes for a laser weapon to be as lethal as advertised, including beam control, beam director, and power and thermal management. The IFPC-HEL, powerful as it is, is only one part of the Army's collective effort for a layered laser-based defense. The others being the less headline-making IFPC high-powered microwave and the celebrity DEM Shorad. DEM Shorad. The 50 kilowatt DEM Shorad is a laser weapon that stood and passed the test of time in an unconventional way. The weapon took the U.S. Army and CORD technologies a lightning quick less than two years to develop. The DEM Shorad is tasked with taking down moderate sized drones and incoming artillery by concentrating its laser beam on targets from five miles away to blind sensors, cause aerodynamic failure, disable target engines, detonate fuel supply or detonate the explosive payload prematurely. An interesting feature of the DEM Shorad is its level of intelligence. The weapon is, in the case of multiple targets, able to autonomously determine which should be destroyed first depending on how much of a threat each target poses. The Army plans to mobilize the DEM Shorad by mounting it on Stryker Infantry Armored Vehicles sometime in 2022 and all seems to be going according to plan. Aircraft-based shield. For the Air Force, the Self-Protect High Energy Laser Demonstrator, or SHIELD system, is delivering a laser weapon that can be fitted on fighter jets. The SHIELD, whose contract was issued in 2017, is developed by a team of three of the world's most prominent arms companies. Northrop Grumman for its beam control system, Boeing for the pod subsystem that mounts the other components to the aircraft's underside, and Lockheed Martin for the laser itself. The laser is known across the military as LANCE, meaning Laser Advancements for Next Generation Compact Environments. Lockheed Martin received a whopping $26.3 million from the Air Force to design, develop, and produce LANCE. Their specialization in laser weapon development for the last 40 years, particularly with essential advancements such as precision pointing and control, line of sight stabilization, and adaptive optics has definitely come in handy to become the go-to laser company. The company says Lance, in many ways, leverages technology building blocks from internal research and development projects, including the Army's Robust Electric Laser Initiative or RELY program. This implies that Lance could be a 60 kilowatt class laser weapon or a scaled up version of it while being significantly compact. This convenient size and power combo is the special offering of the Lance laser. On July 11th, Lockheed Martin announced that it had secretly delivered Lance to the Air Force in February 2022. And so the smallest, lightest, high energy laser of its power class that Lockheed Martin had built to date is fitting to be fitted in Boeing's pod along with Northrop Grumman's beam control system, marking a significant landmark in the Air Force's efforts to arm fighter jets with lasers. Navy Ship-Based 
The U.S. Navy is installing laser weapons on nine destroyers to evaluate the usefulness of lasers in sea-based warfare. Eight of these nine are low-power weapons designed to dazzle or blind enemy sensors and drones. The ninth is a far more powerful laser weapon with the potential to become an anti-missile defense system. This laser weapon is the High Energy Laser and Integrated Optical Dazzler with Surveillance, or Helios. Helios. Helios is tasked with protecting sailors and ships from attacks by drones and small boats. It is a result of over a decade of various efforts by the Navy to equip warships with laser weapons that can confuse or destroy enemy systems. The Navy is optimistic about the Helios and her sibling weapons. Optimistic enough to request a heavy $103 million of the Navy's fiscal 2023 budget to support laser weapon concepts. However, although Helios, like other laser weapons, has a relatively cheap per shot cost, it's become clear that building the weapon itself may not be wallet friendly. As the Navy estimates $100 million per unit, Helios is developed by a familiar name, Lockheed Martin, which was contracted in 2018 to build the weapon, which the Navy believes can operate consistently at 60 kilowatts, but can be scaled up to 120 kilowatts should the need arise. After the installation of Helios is complete, the Navy wants to conduct at-sea testing of the system in 2023 according to budget documents. The roughly $19 million requested for this would pay for engineering, maintenance, repair, changes made based on the results of at-sea testing, and maybe, just maybe, celebratory drinks when the Navy occasionally remembers they now have a powerful laser weapon capable of downing incoming subsonic anti-ship cruise missiles like the Russian SSN-27 Sizzler or the Chinese YJ-18 that also doubles as a tool to support long-range intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. Cost-effective, precise, and lethal, laser weapons meet the demands of future warfare to a T. And if the U.S. military stays at the top of the laser food chain, they shift the odds of winning any battle on land, in the air, and on the sea in their favor. A feat that, for now, is only certain to the country of anyone who subscribes to this channel and gives this video a like. So kindly do so now. That would be all for now. Thanks for watching.